Ben Rain grabbed the first five-wicket haul of his career as Leicestershire had much the better of the weather-affected opening day of the LV County Championship match in Chelmsford against fellow strugglers Essex. Mark Cosgrove unsurprisingly inserted after winning the toss on a grey day where showers were never far away. After a delayed start of half an hour, Nick Brown fell to the fifth ball of the match. Andrea Agathangalou starting his Leicestershire career with a very smart catch in the slips. These two teams began this match in the bottom two places in the championship table with just one win between them in nine attempts. Things settled down after that early loss of Brown as Tom Wesley and Jake Mickleborough added 43 runs for the second wicket in tough batting conditions. But from 45 for one, the home team collapsed to 67 for six either side of lunch and a couple of breaks for rain. The rush of wickets began when Wesley was banging front to rain in the bowler's fourth over. The former Durham man then struck again in his next one. Mickleborough bowled through the gate on the drive after making 16 to Wesley's 27. After lunch, Ravi Papara's first championship innings of the summer ended on four as he edged Clint Mackay behind to Lewis Hill. Five balls later and Ryan Tender Scarter was also on his way for a duck. Rain, who was using the conditions well with his third wicket of the day, he being rewarded for bowling a perfect line and length and using some swing. Rain had no luck at all with the ball in his last game, but here things were turning in his favour. His figures read 4 for 28 after 10 overs, after he also trapped James Foster in front for 3 at 67 for 6. Essex were in a similar position to this in their opening game of the summer, yet still went on to defeat Kent, so all was not lost in spite of their current position. They now had two batsmen at the crease who were always going to take the attack back to the bowlers, in the form of Jesse Ryder and Graham Napier, who helped to balance this game up by adding 54 runs for the seventh wicket in 12 and a half overs together. But then both fell in quick succession. On 29, Napier edged Charlie Shrek to Agathangalu, who signed until the end of the season after a spell with Lancashire. Ryder top scored in the innings with 38, but he then gave Rain his fifth wicket, swinging a short ball out to Ned Eckersley, who held on well at fine leg. Rain's previous best was the 4 for 55 he got earlier on in the summer. Essex threatened to fight back, Matt Salisbury looking good as he dominated a ninth wicket partnership of 27 with debutant Aaron Nidja, who stuck it out for an hour before bad light took the players off. Before that occurred, Salisbury on 24 clipped a ball from Jigger Nake to Tom Wells at mid-on. And after the players returned, once the light was better, Nake also trapped last man Jamie Porter in front for seven, as Essex were all out for 166, Rain with career best figures of five for 48. Thanks to him, this turned out to be one of the best days Leicester have had in the four day game for a very long while. Matt Boyce and Angus Robson saw out the seven overs that remained, and neither were dismissed as they knocked off 28 runs of the deficit. It means that the visitors will go again on day two, just 138 runs behind with all of their wickets intact. If they can bat well, they will be in a great position to win a game in this competition for the first time in 37 attempts.